Hey folks, so first of all, if I sound a little funny, I actually had some dental stuff done, and uh, so I'm kind of numb on one side and starting to feel the pain again, so uh, you may not see me doing any videos tomorrow, any lives while I let this kind of settle, um, but I digress. The reason I'm doing this video is to remind everyone, one of the five business forces is the power of substitutions, or power of substitutes. Um, normally it's a problem for a company. If someone can find a substitute, you lose business, but we can flip that lesson around into a lesson for prepping. So for instance, I'm seeing videos and not just in Walmart, Kroger's, Key Food, Randall's, Piggly Wiggly, you name it. They're running out of milk in one place. They're running out of pasta in another. I've seen milk like dairy and pastas get hit really hard all of a sudden, which is kind of strange. Um, in Texas, we're seeing some pastas come in from South America to kind of backfill, which is good. But those little like South American alternatives are not available in all of the country. So some folks may not see it. But while you have a minute and while things haven't completely gone off the rail, and hopefully they never do, start trying alternative products. So for instance, if you use milk, get, you don't have to get a full half gallon or you know quarts get something small like a quart or, or a pint and try alternatives so like this was almond milk um we tried almond milk soy milk we tried like four or five different milk alternatives right uh two tasted like ass um one gave everyone the runs and the almond milk didn't do anything to anybody and um, it doesn't taste terrible. If it's cold, it's actually palatable and you can roll it into your cereal and it tastes nice. So again, I, would I prefer milk milk? Of course, but in light of not being able to do that, you can go to an alternative. If it fits in your budget and is economic, and remember that's super important because if you spend a bunch of money more than you really needed to, you screw up your budget and that's gonna affect everything else, including just day-to-day -day life. I would also recommend there's some alternatives you can use in cooking. For instance, I've seen a lot of people will use um, zucchinis and they'll, they'll shred them like noodles and use those as a substitute for pasta if they're on a special diet. It is, would I prefer real pasta? Of course, but you can try that as an alternative. So start experimenting with different foods and different products. Uh, the power of the substitution may enable you to get through a shortage and not really feel it. And also it gives everyone a chance to test. Be good. Think about it.